Fora TV. Idea Immersion. Visit us at www.fora.tv. One of the major reasons that uh, this Congress careened out of control is that there has been no ethics process at all. Uh, I sometimes use the analogy, and let me use it here. Imagine if in the District of Columbia we knew that there would be no enforcement of the traffic laws. Nobody would get stopped for running red lights, speeding, uh, making illegal turns, or anything else. That happens now. As, well, <laughs> but if you park one minute after 4 o'clock, <laughs> uh, basically what would happen is most people are going to continue to stop at red lights and basically abide by the rules. 5% are going to say, this is great, and go 120 miles up Massachusetts Avenue and run every red light. And a lot of people over time are going to even forget what the rules are. So if you're driving up the avenue and the traffic is going 50 and it's a 30 mile an hour zone, you're not going to say, whoa, I may get a ticket here and slow down. You're just going to keep going. And you lose your sensitivity to what the rules are. And that's what's happened with no ethics process. We need an independent ethics process. There is enormous resistance on the Hill, including among Democrats. This is one where she's got to walk the walk and talk the talk. And Harry Reid has to do the same thing. And then she has to walk the walk and talk the talk, as she said she will, and restore some semblance of a deliberative process with many issues brought up under open rules or relatively open rules. Take the risk that you'll lose on something. There are a few things where you want to draw some lines. A majority has to have the ability to rule. Uh, but you've got to let the minority have some rights here. And if she does what she's promised to do, then I think we end up uh, on the right track. Yeah, I think virtually everything that uh, Nancy Pelosi has said uh, and written in advance of the election, at the election, suggests that uh, she understands what has to be done on the very first day of Congress. Her, her power will never be greater within her own party than on the first day of the Congress. This is the time that the rules of the House are adopted. It's the time when changes uh, uh, can occur. She is in a position to basically insist on, uh, on uh, what that package uh, includes and <coughs> has committed to a, an ethics and lobbying reform package that doesn't simply, you know, say the lobbyists, they're the bad guys, but takes into account the fact that most of the, the direction of the arrow moves from the member to the lobbyist rather than vice versa and therefore what you need is a is a process that watches and disciplines uh, and sets very high standards for for members of Congress. I'm I'm actually encouraged by that. I'm also encouraged, as Norm said, by the by the repeated commitment to uh, uh, to regular order uh, uh, with specific uh, uh, promises about having sufficient time for bills and conference reports to lay over so that staffs and members can read them before time so you don't stick individual things <coughs> in uh, in the middle of uh, the night uh, uh, as a payment for something else. We, in a, in a body that have become so transparent, uh, so much now is, uh, is done uh, without any openness or transparency except the most stylized set of debates that are that are largely meaningless